Hey guys, welcome back. First off, this is a sponsored review. The nice folks at Foxwell were kind enough to send me their all new, just released, bi directional dealer level scan tool, the NT809 TS. And two months ago, I did a review of the X Tool IP819. And a few days after that review came out, that's when Foxwell got a hold of me and asked me if I wanted to test this scan tool. So I did some looking, and it turns out, in terms of features, functions, and capability, uh, this Foxwell tool is a direct competitor of the uh, 819. So I was real excited to get my hands on it and uh, compare these two. And another reason why I wanted to do this review is because this is the third uh, version, or the third generation, of this 809 series. And I remember my man Brian from Brian OK 100 channel did a review on the second generation of this tool. And uh, so I was already somewhat familiar with it. And uh, Brian, he tests a lot of scan tools. And he usually only tests the top of the line models. He doesn't test any junk. So I already knew this was going to be good. So uh, real quick, uh, with all of the... Uh, with all of the coupons and discounts and promo codes, right now these things are going for $415. And I'll put a link to those details all in the description box down below. And I wasn't too familiar uh, with this brand, Foxwell. So I looked them up and it turns out the parent company is called OBD Zon. And they've got all these other brands under them that they make, uh, like the Foxwell, Inova, Ansel, Thinkcar, Autofix, and Launch, and a few others that I've never heard of. And I think that's because those are the popular brands in other worlds around the country. So I think that's good that this is a really big company because uh, they're probably uh, sharing the software development uh, to make all these tools so good. So that's why I think that's a good thing. So what I've done is I've come up with a list of uh, things that are similar and uh, different with the 819 and the uh, 809 between the X-Tool and the Foxwell. And then I've got some pros and cons and then I'll, I want to give you a little demonstration on how this thing connects. So uh, first off, uh, the release date. Uh, the Foxwell came out in August 22 of this year, and the X-Tool came out in July of 22 of this year. Uh, they're both all system scan tools, which means they're going to look at every single module in your car that exists, like the uh, ABS module, airbag module, driver door module, and so and so forth. If the module's in the car, it's going to be able to scan it. Uh, they both have auto VIN and auto scan capability. They both have full bi-directional controls, and that's kind of the most important thing about these things. Uh, they both have uh, 30 maintenance and service resets, and those are things like uh, resetting the oil change light, um, doing a ABS bleeding brake procedure. Uh, DPF regen and so so on and so forth. Now here's where it gets different. The 809, uh, the very first generation was a wired version, and the second generation was a Bluetooth, and now this third generation it just adds uh, TPMS programming um, to the uh, the Bluetooth model. So, and it even comes with these with these. Uh, it even comes with a set of four of uh, TPMS sensors, these dual band sensors that can work on any car. So I'm real excited to try those uh, when my Grand Marquis fail and I gotta get them. Um, so this, uh, so the Foxwell, it connects with a VCI and I'll show you how that works in a minute. And the X-Tool is a hardwired scan tool, so there's a cable in between the scan tool and your car. Uh, they both have the CAN FD protocol, that means flexible data, and that's just the latest and greatest uh, 
OBD2 CAN protocol. Uh, they both do TPMS programming. Uh, the Foxwell does not do key programming. The Xtool does do key programming. They both have one-click software updates. They both make uh, PDF diagnostic reports. And that's really nice. I, I printed one of these uh, from the Foxwell. And these are real important for DIY because say you're, you've got a problem and you don't have the money or the time to fix the problem, well you can kind of keep an eye on the problem by printing these reports or they can help you diagnose the problem because uh, it could be above your diagnostic uh, capability and uh, keeping, keeping track of what's going on in the car as the months go by can help you uh, fix the issue. So what it does is it prints the codes, it prints all of the codes from the different uh, modules, and it even pulls the, uh, the VIN number, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and uh, one thing I liked about this, it even has the date and time, I've never, never seen that before. And uh, these windows here, you can, if you need to add additional information, you can populate windows and put in as much information as you want, and that's really helpful. And then uh, when you, if you're a mobile mechanic and you need to email this report, uh, when you email it, your email address and your website become a hyperlink and you can just click on it and your customers will uh, find that a lot easier. Uh, they both come with uh, three years of free software updates and after three years uh, then you got to start paying for updates. and. Uh, I think they're $170 a year, and as when you get into these dealer level scan tools, uh, I really don't think it's worth uh, re-upping or buying that software because in three years time, there's probably gonna be new hardware and new communication protocol where you're gonna wanna upgrade to a new scan tool. So I don't think I would uh, ever uh, buy the additional software when it after the three years. And after the three years, this, the scan tool will still function. You just won't get updates for the brand new cars. Um, they both have a 30-day Amazon return policy. Uh, the Foxwell has a one-year warranty. The X-Tool has a two-year warranty. They both have lifetime free tech support, and that's through email. And the, you're, that's, they're usually pretty good at getting back with you in uh, 24 hours with a question. So that's pretty good. Uh, they both have remote assistance and if you're having trouble uh, working the tool uh, you can uh, schedule a session with the engineers and they can uh, get into your tool through a back door and they can control it and show you uh, how to use the tool and that's real nice. They both have a 7 inch display. Uh, they both run Android. Uh, the Foxwell is 9.0 and the Xtool is 5.1.1 and here is uh, something real important. The, uh, the X-Tool has dual band Wi-Fi, 2.4 gig and 5 gig. And the Foxwell, it only has the 2.4 gig band. So that means when you're downloading updates, the Foxwell is going to take a little bit longer. And based on my testing, when I'm downloading the updates, uh, the X-Tool is four times as fast. So if you don't turn on the tool for about a week, you're going to get maybe 20 updates. And um, the X tool will download those updates in about 10 minutes. And if I did that on the Foxwell, it would take about 40 minutes. So I'll keep that in mind. And uh, the Foxwell has a camera on it, and I'll show you what that's for. I thought that was kind of silly. Why would you need a camera on a scan tool? Well, it's for scanning the VIN number. Uh, say if you're having communication issues and you can't get the VIN number out of, out of the car. So what you can do is you can scan the VIN number uh, to get it into the tool, and it it also has it's it's possible that it also has the capability to scan your vehicle emission control information label, and that's that barcode right there. And this is uh, what you'll need. Uh, you'll need this information when you get into emission repairs, and you need to start ordering uh, emission. Uh, parts because they're very specific to each vehicle depending on what region of the country you're in. So that's real nice. And um, 
the the Foxwell has a 4,000 milliamp battery and the X-Tool has a 5,000 milliamp battery so a little bit bigger and the charging port okay one thing I really like about the Foxwell is it's got a type C uh, charging port which I think all of us pretty much have and the, the X-Tool it uses a type A the, the standard big one and that's kind of uh, awkward I don't really like that so I really like that it has the type C uh, the Foxwell has a kickstand to keep it uh, standing up, and you don't realize how nice that is because the X-Tool, it doesn't have a kickstand, and I wish it did. And the RAM, uh, the Foxwell has one gig of RAM, and the X-Tool has two gig of RAM, and they both have the same uh, storage memory. They both have 32 gig. So, um, they're they're pretty closely matched, and... Uh, which one of these things is going to be best for you? Is it, it's going to it's going to dictate on what your application is, and how you're going to use it specifically. Whether you're a DIY, a mobile mobile mechanic, or an entry level technician at a dealership, and these uh, tools will pretty much uh, serve all three of those uh, people well. And and. Uh, the reason why I keep calling these dealer level scan tools is because if you're an average DIY, uh, these tools are going to let you uh, diagnose, they're going to help you diagnose and fix 95% of the problems on your car. Uh, the other 5% are going to be super specific and um, uh, issues where you would need to go to the dealer, like uh, programming an ECU or something like that that's going to require the multi multi thousand dollar uh, dealer level scan tool the, the real scan tool um, to do those types of functions okay so pros and cons uh, this Foxwell I really like the easy to use software and navigation menus uh, the full bi-directional controls the 30 maintenance and service resets the PDF diagnostic reports, the Type C charging port, the kickstand, and when it comes to con, I've only got one con, and that's the five gigahertz Wi-Fi speed, and that's uh, kind of a bummer because when you're downloading updates, you want this thing to update as quickly as fast as possible. But um, if you're on top of it and you use this thing on a regular basis, you're only going to have uh, one or two updates at a time to update but if you don't turn it on for a week and you've got uh, 25 or 30 or 60 updates to to download it's gonna take a minute so keep that in mind okay so let me uh, I want to show you how this thing uh, works real quick so this thing is wireless and this is your VCI vehicle communication interface and there's got uh, three status lights on here. It's got a red power light, a blue Bluetooth light, and a green communication light when it starts communicating. And it's also got a type C port on the back of here. And this is for powering the scan tool if you want. And it also does data communication. I had to hook this up to register it. So I'm thinking if, uh, if for some reason the Bluetooth can't connect, you can connect this with a standard hardwired connection. And that's really nice. So let me uh, turn this thing on. So right now I've got an extension cable on my uh, DLC. And I'm going to plug this in and show you what it does. Okay, so there's that red uh, status light letting you know you got power. The Bluetooth, it, it really links up super fast. I've never seen that before. It's almost instantaneous. And that green light is just blinking because we're not communicating yet. So let me uh, stick that over here. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, getting too much into the menus and doing bi-directional stuff. Because I've already covered that on the X-Tool. And, but if you do want to see that, I'll put a link to uh, Brian's review where he goes through all that on a GMC pickup with a lot of specific uh, GMC pickup stuff. That's really nice to watch. So uh, the one thing I want to show you on this that I think is really, really neat is I was able to get 
the factory keyless door entry code on this car. And on Fords, uh, that usually requires a four scan device or an actual Ford uh, IDS Oasis scan tool. And that's what the dealership uses. So that really is an OEM function. And I'm, uh, I, I could not believe it that the aftermarket has access to that information. So it really blew me away. So let's see how fast I can uh, get this thing to connect in real time. And if I can't get it quick enough, I took a screenshot of it to show you. So uh, real quick, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the camera function. So it's got a camera on the back of here and you can scan the uh, barcode of your VIN number in your uh, uh, door jam or under the hood or whatever. So that's uh, neat. Okay, automatic scan. So it's working. Still scanning. Still scanning. Okay, we're in. Uh, Crown Victoria, no traction. So there's my information. 4.6 liter, two valve, model year is 2004. It's got the VIN number and it even has the uh, calibration, ident uh, calibration level of the PCM. So that's uh, nice. Okay, uh, control module. Uh, these are all the modules in my car. A PCM, uh, restraint control module, lighting control module, message center. Actually, I don't have that. Driver door module, rear air suspension. I don't have that. Uh, electronic automatic temperature control. don't have that. But I do have the variable assist power steering. Uh, so let's get into the uh, driver door module and it's in live data and this is all of the live data that's in the uh, uh, driver door module so let me select all okay okay uh, so right now it says I've got all the doors closed uh, my auto lock is disabled, brake switch is off. Now there it is right there, factory keyless entry code. And there it is, 14603. And now that's really nice because on this car and my other Grand Marquis, uh, it did not have the sticker on the uh, driver door module or in the trunk. And I actually, when I had to, when I cut keys for the car, I actually had to pay an hour labor uh, to get that code along with um, cutting the keys and programming the keys. So that was a real, or that's uh, really nice. Uh, horn chirp status is disabled. Uh, trunk is closed. What else is in here? Okay, remote identification for the keyless remotes. There's an FCC ID number that will correspond to what kind of remote you got and that's a uh, real nice information to have because it'll help you order the correct uh, key fobs okay so um, I think that's pretty much it with this Foxwell scan tool uh, I really like it I think it is a worthy competitor of the um, X tool IP 819 and um, uh, if you're looking for a scan tool uh, in the four to five hundred dollar price range, uh, this is definitely a scan tool you want to use to compare when you're shopping for those scan tools. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.